what you get uh, in the speed max. Uh, speed max is nothing but here we are going to take some techniques regarding the calculation part. So what is this use of this techniques? Look at when you are taking this aptitude part, basically most of the topics like percentages, profit and loss, whatever the topic you take it. Uh, basically, once you take the question, in the end, definitely you have to do the calculation part. Like for every topic, whatever you take it, profit and loss, <clears throat> percentages, simple and test and component, uh, time and work, time and distance, whatever the topic you take it, definitely in the end, you do the calculation part. But that calculation part, how much fast you do it, that's very, very important. Clear? Now, if you do it a bit fast, you'll get the solution a bit fast. Clear? So to get that solution a bit fast, what you do is nothing but here we are going to learn some techniques in the case of calculation. Look at calculation means what will be there in general. Let's check what are the calculations will be there. Additions will be there. Subtractions will be there. Multiplications will be there. Divisions, squares and its roots, cubes and cube roots, percentages. Mainly these are the things what it will be there. And most of the people will feel difficult in the cases of multiplications, clear, and percentages and division cases, mainly these are the things, clear. So we'll concentrate on one by one all the cases. Uh, firstly, we'll take this multiplication part here. So after that, we'll go one by one all the cases. So majorly, everyone will feel difficulty in the case of multiplication. That's why we'll start with the multiplications today. So after that, we'll go one by one all the cases. We'll take this. Uh, square square roots cubes cube roots divisibility rules will be there how to take the division cases clear percentages will take it and how to make the additions how to take the subtractions all we'll discuss one by one but today uh, we'll go with this multiplication techniques clear so we'll go with one by one all the multiplication techniques in that multiplication techniques uh, the first one uh, what i take today is nothing but uh, complementary pairs let us understand what is this complementary pairs let's check uh, for example if i ask you 25 into 25 easily i can say it's nothing but 625 25 into 25 easily i can say it's nothing but 625 uh, let if i ask you 35 into 35 it will be difficult 75 into 75 85 into 85 that numbers it will be difficult but let's take how to take those cases uh, let's check here Wait a minute. Let's check how to take that cases. Uh, for example, if you want to multiply 45 into 45, how you multiply this one? Let's check. So look at how easily we can take it. For example, here 5 into 5, that will be 25. So 5 into 5 directly we can multiply and 4 we have to multiply with the next number so 4 next number is nothing but what 5 so 4 into 5 simply i can write it as a 20 which you write as a 2025 and for example let's take one more example in the same manner if you want to multiply 75 into 75 how you take this case 75 into 75 look at again here 5 into 5 25 and 7 into next number 7 next number is 8 now so 7 into 8 i have to multiply 7 into 8, I can take it as 56, which you write 5625. If you take one more, uh, if you want to multiply 95 into 95, so how you multiply in these cases 95 into 95, uh, which you write as a 5 into 5, 25, and 9 next number, I have to write it. 9 next number, uh, 9 into 10, which you write 90. So like these cases, we can take it. Uh, actually, the same thing we can implement for a three-digit number also. Uh, three digit number means for example i want to multiply let it be 125 into 125 if you want to multiply this case you can take this case also look at but here 5 into 5 we write it as a 25 and here entire 12 we can like it take a single digit and 12 we have to multiply with the next number so i have to multiply 12 into 13 so 12 into 13 uh, directly you can multiply Otherwise, you can break it. 12 tens are 110, 12 threes are 36, which will be 120 plus 36, 156, which I can I write as a 15625. Uh, what we are doing directly 5 and 5 we are multiplying. Whatever the tens place number we are multiplying with its next number. Look at basically these are called complementary pairs. What does that mean? Understand what is that mean of complementary pairs? Look at complementary pair means simply what we can understand here. Uh, unit digit sum must be 10 unit digit 10 must be 10 and 10th place has to be equal 
unit is in sum must be 10 and 10's place has to be equal. So whatever the unit digit position here 5, 5, it will be 10 and whatever the 10's place number in every case it is equal. Uh, here also 5 plus 5, 10, here 10's place is equal. So simply you have to remember only one point here, unit digit, whatever the unit digit, that sum should be 10, that is called complementary pair, clear. And next, whatever the tens place, whatever the tens place, it should be same. Unit digit sum must be 10 and whatever the tens place number, it has to be same. Now let's check, unit digit sum 10, understand this point carefully here. Yeah? So whatever the examples up to now have taken, 45 into 45, 75 into 75, 95 into 95, 125 into 125. In all the cases, I'm taking ending with 5. Why? Because 5 plus 5, I know it's a 10 in every case. But let's check. I said unit digit sum is 10. Uh, let us understand that point. Is it the only possibility when I add 5 plus 5, 10? No, no. So we have a different cases getting some 10 cases. Let's understand that point is also, for example, uh, if I take example 72 into 78 as per the point what i said unit digit sum must be 10 here 2 plus 8 it is 10 clear like that we can take the cases now 1 9 is a sum 10 2 8 is a sum 10 3 and 7 is a sum 10 4 and 6 is a sum 10 and finally what you had done the starting point 5 and 5 is sum 10 remember these cases here it will be useful in further points also 1 9 sum is 10 2 8 sum is 10 3, 7 sum is 10, 4 and 6 sum is 10 and 5 and 5 sum is 10, clear. So sum 10 in the sense, unit digit sum 10, 1 plus 9, 10, 2 plus 8, 10, 3 plus 7, 10 like that. So if you take 72 into 78, same manner. Actually in the previous case, if I get 75 into 75, what I done, 5 into 5 is 25. Same, here also we'll do same point here, 2 into 8. So 2 into 8, it's nothing but 16. And whatever the number here that you have to multiply with the I said next number. So 7 next number is nothing but what 8 na 7 into 8 which you write as a 56 7 into 8 which you write it as a 56 clear let's take one more example in the same manner if you want to multiply 83 into 87 look at as per the definition what i said it will be in the same manner 3 plus 7 10 and 8 we have to multiply with the next number let's check uh, 3 into 7 as per the same point 3 into 7 it will be 21 as i said 8 we have to multiply with the next number 8 next number is what? 9. Huh? So we write it 8 into 9 which is as a 72. 8 into 9 which we write it as a 72. Let's check one more example. If you want to write 64 into 66. If you want to write this example. 64 into 66 means how we write it here? 4 into 6. That will be 24. And 6 next number. What I am writing? 6 next number is nothing but 7. 6 into 7 which I write it as a 42. 6 into 7, which you write as a 42. Let's check 1 and 9 case also. This one, a bit careful, you have to write it. 81 into 89. If you want to write this case, if you want to multiply, 81 into 89. How we write it here? Uh, look at 1 into 9. So basically, 1 into 9, it will become 9. But look at in all the cases, if you write 5 into 5, I'm writing 25. 2 8s are 16. 3 7s are 21. 4 6s are 24. Every time, how many digits we are writing? 2 digits, na? Here also we write it two digits here, but one into nine, that one into nine, uh, we have to write it as a zero nine. One into nine, we have to write it as zero nine. And eight next number, eight next number is what? Nine. So eight into nine simply, we write it as a 72. Eight into nine simply, we write it as a 72, which we write 7209. Uh, let's check, at simple point I said, unit digit sum is 10 and 10's place is, has to be same in that directly you can take the product of unit digits. And whatever the tens place number, we have to multiply with the its next number. Clear. Now let's check. Uh, I'll take a three digit numbers here uh, with the same points. Uh, 123 into 127. If you want to take this case, 123 into 127. So how to do it here also? Same. Unit digit sum is 10, 3 plus 7, 10. Then I can write directly 3 into 7, 21. So what I said, the 12th place number, we have to multiply with its next number. 12 next number is what? 13. So 12 into 13 means, uh, it's nothing but what you write? 156. 12 into 13 is nothing but how much it is? 120, sorry, 150. 
six. Let's take one more. For example, I want to multiply two not four into two not six. I want to multiply two not four into two not six. Same way here. Four plus six it is ten. Na? Unit digit sum is ten. So directly I can multiply four into six twenty four. And whatever the tens place number. That means here we take it as a tens place number as twenty. That you have to multiply with twenty one. So how we multiply twenty into twenty one? Look at this one also. I'll explain very easily. Twenty into twenty, four hundred, and four hundred plus twenty, which will be four twenty. Always break the number here. That will be easy. For example, here also, twelve into thirteen. Uh, if you feel difficulty, twelve uh, into thirteen, I can write as a twelve plus one. Then it will be easy for calculation for you. Let's check this point. Twelve uh, into twelve, one forty four plus twelve. We can add it. So twelve into thirteen. Uh, if you write twelve plus one, twelve into twelve, you can write it plus twelve. That is easy. Also, twenty into twenty plus one. If you write it, twenty into twenty plus twenty, you can write it like that. Are you getting that? Let's check it one more. For example, one forty two into one forty eight. If you want to multiply this case, one forty two into one forty eight, you can take this case also. So how we take it here? Same logic, na? Two into eight, sixteen, and fourteen. We have to multiply with its next number. So what I said? Simply break it like fourteen into fourteen plus fourteen. That will be easy to take it. Fourteen, fourteen, sir. We know it's a square. One ninety-six plus fourteen. One ninety-six plus fourteen. This will be two ten. Uh, so this is how you take this case. Clear. So unit digit sum ten and tens place is equal. Directly we can take the cases here. And look at uh, in the same case. I'll explain one more point. Uh, that is uh, how to take it uh, if tens digit sum is ten. That means here unit digit sum is ten. We are taking. We'll take one more method here. Yeah, that is tens digit sum is ten. Uh, let's check. So what is the cases we have done up to now? Let me we are taking seventy four into seventy six. Here four plus six is ten, and seven and seven is equal. This case. Let's check. I'll explain the reverse case now. Uh, for example, let's check thirty eight into seventy eight. Now let us understand this case. Understand this one carefully. Yeah, thirty eight into seventy eight. So what is the different point here? Whatever the cases we have done in the previous cases, what is equal here? It's nothing but unit digit sum is ten and tens place is equal. But here, units place is equal and tens place sum is ten. Tens place sum is ten. So here, three plus seven it will be ten. Now look at this case also how you take it. Here directly what you write? Uh, let's understand this one carefully. Eighteen to eight directly we we'll write sixty four. Eighteen to eight we we'll write sixty four. Here also we we'll multiply same thing. Three uh, into seven twenty one. Plus, we have to write this number. We have to write three into seven plus whatever the number here. Three into seven, it will be what? Twenty-one. And twenty-one plus eight. So three into seven, it will be what? Twenty-one. Twenty-one plus eight, it will be what here? Twenty-nine. Which you write two nine six four. So three sevens are twenty-one. Twenty-one plus eight two nine sixty four. I'll repeat that. Eight into eight directly we can write sixty four. Three into seven we multiply. Three sevens are twenty-one. And we have to add it this number. Twenty-one plus eight, twenty-nine. Twenty-one plus eight, twenty-nine. Actually, in the previous case, we are multiplying this number with the next number, but here we have to take the product of these two, and we have to add the next number. Clear. Uh, let's take one more example in the same manner here. Uh, let seventy-four into let be thirty-four. If I take seventy-four into thirty-four, these two are equal, na? And seven plus three, it will be ten. Now let's understand this case also how we take it. Uh, here, this one. I said directly we can write four into four. It will be sixteen. Four into four. It will be sixteen. I said this one we have to multiply. Na seven into three. It will be twenty one. Seven into three. Twenty one. And we have to add this number. Twenty one plus four, which we write as a two five one six. Seven three is a twenty one. And twenty one plus four, which we write as a twenty five. So which we write two five one six. I'll take some more examples. Let's check. Fifty-three into fifty-three. Basically, I know it's a square, uh, but as per this case, five plus five is ten. Nah, and let's check here. Three into three. I said always three into three. We write as zero nine. And five into five, twenty-five. And I said add this three. Twenty-five plus three, it will be twenty-eight. This case is. And for example, if you take it seventy-six into thirty-six. Seventy-six into thirty-six means seven plus three. It is ten. Six into six. It is the case. Nah. So we can write six sixes are thirty-six here. Six into six directly we can multiply. 
and this one 7 into 3 it will be 21 7 into 3 it will be 21 and we have to add the 6 21 plus 6 27 which you write as a 2738